What's going on YouTube? This is PLB One Fool here back again with another video. Uh, I apologize for the long delay, but uh I've been super busy, a lot of things happening in my life. A lot of good things, but you know, a lot of things and you know, really trying to process a lot of thing a lot of stuff and you know, just trying to make the best of what's going on. So, as promised, this is part ten of details episode of going through uh, one piece of my personal collection and I believe this is episode 10 um, I was supposed to show off this piece a, over a month ago or about a month ago but uh, I'm gonna get into those reasonings uh, behind not doing it soon but yeah this next uh, piece I'm showing off for details is an extremely rare uh, extremely difficult jersey to find Especially in the style and especially the, um, the type of jersey that it is. So uh, without further ado, let's get right to it. Alright guys, so the jersey I have showing you right now is my uh, 2009 uh, AFL Authentic Oakland Raiders Nambi Asamoah jersey. And this is an absolute beautiful jersey. It's the alternate uh, old school white jersey with the silver numbers up front with the black as the back backdrop. And it's absolutely one of my favorite uh, jersey designs ever. Arguably, you know, my favorite um, Raiders uh, jersey style. It's a very difficult style to find, especially in Authentics. Uh, I think, honestly, out of all of the jersey collectors that I'm aware of or know, personally know, I have the most of this style. And, yeah, it's just a style that I just absolutely fell in love with when I first saw it. So let's get right into the details of this thing. Um, this jersey is an authentic. It's very uh, different from other retail authentics, which I'll show you. Here you got the equipment uh, NFL logo right there. And here you got the AFL 50th anniversary season from 2009, which a lot of the old AFL teams like the Raiders, the Chiefs, the Jets, um, you know, the Broncos, the Chargers, uh, all had this patch on uh, during that season. And here, you got the 21 uh, double stitch right here. Got the big 21 in the middle double stitch. It's a very uh, different uh, tackle twill on this. I know you can catch that right here. Very durable, tough tackle twill on there. Got the other 21 right here, double stitched. And here's what separates them from other authentics. Made by Ripon Athletic, made in Berlin, Wisconsin, USA. And then you can see right here. Boom. In the back, you got Asamoa single stitch on a nameplate right there. And you got the Big 21 double stitch right here as well. What's the difference between this and let's just say a retail authentic from 2009, which would be Reebok? Jersey's really different as far as the material. It's noticeable immediately because on the white retail authentics of the 2009s, this one has more dazzle on it. It's more of a dazzle material on the jersey itself. And also on the numbers, the tackle tool numbers, it's very different as well. There's more dazzle on that silver and, and, on, and on the black. And this one, this is more like a pure silver. It's still, you know, shiny. You can see it on the camera. But it's not as uh, dazzly, and it's more uh, durable, more high quality material. And as I showed you on the jock tag, this is a Rip On Athletic, and uh, Rip On was the company that produced the on field and pro cut jerseys. And just give me a second. As you can see right here, it is the inside tag at the bottom of the jersey, 100% polyester made in Berlin, Wisconsin, USA. Um, all of the primarily the game used, game issued, pro cut, whatever uh, term you want to use for these type of jerseys, especially the jerseys that were specifically made for on-field wear, uh, especially from about the early 90s all the way to the end of the Reebok era. Uh, all the pro cuts and all the game used or game issued jerseys had this made in Berlin, Wisconsin tag because there's a specific factory, I believe, there that made all the game uh, worn jerseys, all the on field stuff, as far as like jerseys and I believe pants. And you know, correct me if I'm wrong on this. You know, I just did a little bit of research here, and there's also a second part as to why I took so long to make this video because I wanted to do more proper research on this. 
uh, because you said it's not a jersey that you see a lot, especially you know the rip on athletics, because um, not a lot of them out there, and I've seen not too many out there honestly as far as like being available for sale or you know specific jersey collectors on Kings of Throwbacks. Shout out to you guys. Um, it's not. A style of jersey that's super that's super collectible because I don't think these were really made for the public. I think this was made for us like a as like a prototype jersey, or maybe to show off like organizations. This is how, jer- this is how your jersey is going to be made during that specific time. Um, but it's a really dope, uh, really dope uh, looking jersey. Really dope material too because they really put you can really feel the quality on this jersey, and super dope and it's super thick. Super durable. Uh, you, well, there's one thing you can't do as far as like when you have your retail authentics or even your, you know, your licensed jerseys or your fakes, whatever. You can never fake quality. You really can't. And this jersey just screams quality. So the reason why it took me so long to make this video was A, I wanted to get more knowledge about it. And B, uh, the day after I dropped my short announcing this video that I'm doing right now. I wore it the next day to uh, a game Raiders Chargers here in Los Angeles, and it was a it was a journey uh, getting to that stadium because even though I lived near it, not too far from my home, a lot of people, a lot of people, tons of traffic on the streets, and um, getting there was a mission. You know, I enjoyed the game. They didn't win that game, but it was a heck of a, a heck of a game. Nearly came back on the Chargers, but and the Chargers ultimately took that win. And then getting out of there, oh man! And then it was was such a oh it was so well. I don't want to say it was terrible, but it was and it was it, it was something. It was really something. And then you know once I got home, examined the jersey. It was it was a little bit dirty. Um, had I, I I do sweat a lot. You know, I had some really bad pit stains that I was trying to get out of on this thing. Might still be on there. I don't know if uh, you can tell. Uh, through the videos, yeah, it's still in there. I did, I did wash it uh, one time. I really try to get the affected areas, but you know my pits are unforgiving when it sweats, so I apologize for that. But yeah, and then you know also the player behind the jersey, Nambi Awesome, was uh, I believe he was a first round pick back in 2003. Uh, it was a corner uh, in the in the mid to late 2000s, arguably the best cornerback in football. Was a four-time All-Pro, made three uh, Pro Bowls with the Raiders. As great a lockdown corner as there was when he played for us. And, you know, had a, had a decent career. Uh, you know, played really well for us. Problem is, you know, we had, it was a lot of losing during those times. And he was, like, arguably the lone bright spot for us. And, yeah, man, they just, um, they don't make corners like, not a lot of corners like him. You know, being 6'2", 200 pounds, super fast. And yeah, it was a legitimate lockdown corner for us for about you know five years, and super happy uh, to have this jersey. He was actually my favorite player when I first became a fan in 2007. Yeah, I love defensive backs. You know, Charles Woodson ultimately became my favorite all-time player, but Nami also when I first became a fan was my favorite. So yeah, that's the jersey right here, my 2009 AFL uh, authentic rip on athletic Nami Awesome jersey. And that's gonna do it for this video. Uh, hope you guys enjoyed. Um, there will be more videos out soon. I do have uh, quite a few pickups to show, not just jerseys. I uh, have a lot of stuff to show. Like I said, just been super busy, you know, working uh, multiple jobs, you know, being with the family. You know, it's had its, you know, a lot, a lot more ups than downs, you know, but like I said, just, it's life, man. It's just life. You got to take it one day at a time. You know, you got to keep working, keep grinding. You know, it's just a lot of things. And a lot of you guys can attest to this, you know. I do want to make more consistent videos. It is something that I've been, you know, keep that I've been telling myself to do more often, because I do have some stuff to show, and I think you guys will really be in for a great treat for those. Um, I will be dropping more shorts. You know, that is one thing I do want to do, because as you know, on platforms like this, content is king. Always drop content. And like I said, I've been meaning to watch some videos. I uh, just saw a couple of Rez's latest vids. You know, really, you've been really putting out some good stuff, Rez. Shout out to you. Shout out to King Leonidas, always keeping up with the vids. Always, can never wait long enough for a new King Leonidas vid. 
Shout out also to another to Mighty Mouse fan. Always putting out the good stuff. Uh, Pistol two one third. Glad to see your vid today. Raiders won today. Super happy about that. And yeah, man. Like I said, just more stuff to come out soon. Be on the lookout for that. And yeah, man. Just a lot of good stuff happening for me. A lot of good stuff happening for my family. You know, super blessed. I'm super blessed to you know be here with good people, decent, honest people. Blessed to know that a lot of guys. You no, know, almost everyone that I know. You no, know, my friends. Jersey community, all good guys. So yeah, so keep commenting, keep liking, keep subscribing if you want to see more content. This is PLB1Fu, and I am out. Peace out, guys.